right into girl chat, yes. shall we? Yeah. I am ready. Okay, first up, Rob Kardashian is about to welcome a baby girl with his Aww. pregnant fiance, Black China. Awesome. Congratulations. However, not everyone seems to be showering them with love. After realizing his half sister Kylie didn't invite Black China to a baby shower, uh -oh. Rob took to Twitter to share his feelings with the world. Rob said, quote, didn't invite the mother of my child to a baby shower you all were trying to throw me? You all must have lost your damn minds. Yeah. <laughs> no, exactly, where you're like, oh my gosh. Awkward. Rob then proceeded to tweet out Kylie's phone number oh. saying, <gasps> oh, she does live in the 818, that's crazy. I ain't hacked either. This is Rob, dog, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> the number, which is now out of service, was in fact <laughs> confirmed to be Kylie's actual phone number. I that know, because I called it. You did? <laughs> Lonnie! Lonnie, you did? What happened? Lonnie! I just called, it, it was a message, but uh, yeah, I called, that was, I was like, ooh, because I saw it, because he did it twice. He put it Why? up there twice. Because he's upset. You know what? This is not a love triangle. This is a love pentagon. This is what this oh is. Oh, my right? God. It's juicy. It's so juicy. But, Lonnie, do you think Rob had a right to revenge tweet? I just think this is just... This whole situation is just messy, okay? Yeah. This is the reason why you don't date your ex... Your sister's ex boy <laughs> girlfriend's boyfriend... It's, it's but do you think it wasn't oh right to, eat, to invite right. but her to the wedding? Love. She's the one having the baby. Yeah, okay. I mean, that was wrong. I mean, what could he do? It's like, this is the mother of his child. Yes. His sisters are planning his first baby shower yes. for his first baby ever. It ain't like he had, like, 3,000 babies, yes. okay? This is it's his, just first his first child. It's a big deal. Yes. And you don't deal. invite her? Of course. But I, I'm just wondering, just putting it out there, because we live in Hollywood, guys, and if you understood how the Hollywood business works, it's crazy. Yeah. Is there a chance at all that this could be a publicity stunt? Because no. it's just so good. You Not can't calling out her like, imagine. And I mean, they're shooting. Like, think about it. We're all, everybody's talking about it. And if you were going to watch their show, you would watch it after knowing this. I mean, I'm just, wow. I'm just throwing it out there. No, but if it it's wouldn't not, have hurt for them for to invite sure. her to the, to the baby if, show. If it's not a publicity stunt, then it is for sure okay. shady. Exactly. So very shady. Adrian. Yes. Because we all know how hard it is to try to get... Piggybacking off of what Jeannie said, okay. you've done a reality show, yes. I've done yeah. a reality show. You know how sometimes they like to yeah, add conflict? Yeah, they like to egg it on. I think they definitely... You know, they put you in situations where you're gonna react. Yes. And I think that's the point. It would be a really boring and not entertaining show if it all was just right here, happy-go-lucky. Yeah. Right. But I think they do sometimes put you in situations. Um, well, in my experience, they put you in situations in my reality show and probably yours too yeah. where they're gonna get a rile out of you, they're gonna get and a reaction. And it's a genuine response. Yeah, it is a genuine response but to a situation that has been produced. My that question yeah. is, is there, where was the breakdown of communication to China? Because if, if Black China, if I'm going to, if a, baby going to a baby shower, yeah, I'm gonna be like, you coming? You coming with me? Where are you gonna wear? Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? So did he find out when he? Well, that's there? why we gotta look that's at. That's why I'm saying it's weird. We gotta look at Black Rob and China on E. Yeah. That's what we gotta find that's out. Why. Black okay. China. Yeah, that's the reason why they Rob did this. <laughs> they want you to know why. But do you ever think it's okay <laughs> not to invite a family a family member like in our own personal lives? I was like, yes. take it back. I just want to okay, say sure. one more thing about Rob. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Before we do. I want to give it up to him because whether this is a publicity stunt or not, it shows that he's taken up for the mother of his child. Yes. And I think that should yes, be applauded. Yeah, I agree. No matter what. That should it's be about applauded. the baby. Yeah. In the yeah. end, it's about the baby. Yeah, so and, and, and I'm going to be honest. If, 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 if you guys were in a relationship and that happened to you, wouldn't you want your man to stick up for you and be yeah, like, oh, they have absolutely. to. Yeah, no, to be like, I'm absolutely yes. not going to allow you to not invite yes. the mother of my kid to... That, and that's second weird. of all, if you've ever been married and, or, or going to get married, you know how hard it is to earn your respect within the other family. Mm -hmm. Do you know right. what I mean? So that is just... I can't even imagine what it must be like on that end. But I have to also say, because I like looking at both sides, mm -hmm. 
we don't know what China yeah, we don't did know. to maybe, because if you didn't invite the mother of the baby to yeah. the baby shower, something really ticked uh. you off. So good question. Have you ever had a situation where you didn't invite a member of a family or an awkward situation where you had to do okay, a we'll no invite? Okay, we'll get off of Rob, okay? We'll yeah. get off of Rob and we'll talk <laughs> but about But come this. on, for real though. For real. Right, right, so. Right, 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 right so. I think that once you are engaged and in their situation, they're having a baby. Yes, and I think they are it's engaged. time for people to get over it. That's yeah. me. Thank you. Once you become one, or you choose to become one, come on, y'all. They're gonna be in each other's lives forever. There's yeah, a baby just there. put your differences aside. I'm getting ready to plan a wedding. I yes. know. And we Ooh, just yeah, let's do who you not gonna be fighting. It's not about that. It's <laughs> Okay, so we're doing our tables, like setting up like oh where everybody God. sits. And right backstage, we were just talking, and Lonnie's like, you got a garbage table? <laughs> I'm like, what is a garbage table? <laughs> no, Supposedly, five minutes ago. there is something called a garbage table, and Lonnie Love is about to explain to you what that is. <laughs> what is okay, you know table? how you have to set up the seating, right? Yes. yes. And there's always a table that you add. We call it the garbage table because it's a table where you put people that maybe you don't know. The leftovers? Or maybe you're not in the leftovers. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I'm not, who's heard of garbage table? I Thank haven't you. heard of Wait, garbage table. Right there. She's heard you of it. it. Okay, Stand we want to hear from you. Tell them what a garbage table is. Did you sit at the garbage table hold before? Hold on, hold on. I would call it the reject table. Okay. <laughs> For the people that you have to invite but you really don't like them very much. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Okay, That's... no, I know what you're talking about. It's true. The, the political because table, like Ma you have to be PC and invite them. Mama Mai calls it the cheap table. The people, they give cheap present or no money. <laughs> cheap table. Yes, it's true. I had it. You, I had, you had one? I had two. You had two cheap tables at your Here's wedding? how you know. When you walk into a wedding <laughs> and you look at where the bathroom is and when the garbage is, that's the cheap table. <laughs> <laughs> Any Asian wedding. Well, that is true. I wouldn't want to be sitting next to the bathroom. What about you? What did you do for your wedding? We didn't have a cheap table. Oh, God. We didn't. I every swear to God. Was expensive. Every table was expensive. Every table was <laughs> No! You got every, that one table no, that was every, like the... No, you guys. Every person that... That was really important to me because my husband, like you, Jeannie, knows a lot of people. Okay. Like, I knew. How many people were at your wedding, though? Almost 400. Oh! But... Well, oh, I wait. mean. Hold on for a second. I knew about like 100, and Adam knew about 300, right? <laughs> But oh I wanted I wanted to meet them. I wanted to shake their hand, get a, get a little sense of them. So we had a party two days before the wedding so that everybody, you know, everybody could enjoy that's themselves. Smart. That's what you do day. when you're rich. <laughs> that's, 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 you, that's, have, you have I, two weddings. I don't have that. You have, you have a mingle hey, before exactly. the wedding. Hey, she had, had a wedding mingle. a long time to get married that's and I true. saved up, so. Oh, that's okay, smart. So wait, that's that sister, sister wedding. That's that one. But I'm not gonna front. One thing I am doing is a lot of my single girlfriends, um, oh, when, yeah. I, when I sent out Save the Date, they responded, uh, yes, I'm attending plus one. I did. I, I'm letting you know there's a rude awakening about to happen. I don't know your plus one. Boom. He is not my Boom. friend. We ain't cool like that. I want a super intimate wedding. Like, I don't feel like I that. can cry in front of you. You're probably not gonna get invited to my wedding. If we yeah. haven't already cried together, you are That's probably fine. not gonna yes. get invited to my wedding. It's your yes. wedding. You could do whatever you wanna do. Thank right? you. Yes. I want internet. Well, I would suggest that they don't have to come to the wedding, but they can still come, you know. We afterwards. did have an after party. Adam and I had a, See? a, a, what a wedding. What did you have? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, I waited a long time, y'all. We had the <laughs> mingle in the beginning, mm -hmm. the wedding. Yes. Then we had uh, the reception, and then we had an after party. Yeah, yeah. shindig. And, yeah, and that's, that's when you, you can invite. Everything for it. Yeah. That's when you can invite the friends that are like maybe the second tier of not so close. People. Did you have different dresses for all of these things? Absolutely. freaking yes. Yes. Oh my God. God. Wait. That's that sister, sister. No, but that's the same. You have to. Yeah. I you have can't wear the same dress. You guys, you I know what a wedding see, really is, I know is, that. Right? I ain't getting married. No. A, a wedding, yeah, yeah, it's the vows forever till you part, forever after, all that. But a wedding is really your fashion show, dude. Yeah. Yes. All the way. You got to have a dress for the cake cutting, a dress for the ceremony, a dress for the, for the cake after. cutting. Yes. Yeah. I did. Dress. Oh, my God. Yeah. In, in Vietnamese weddings, oh, yo, we changed outfits for every course of the meal. 
For sure, yes. Yeah, I it's went like, to one. Well, yeah. guys, I am not Vietnamese. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Adrian. Latinos are like, look, that dress is so pretty, you gotta keep it on today <laughs> and possibly tomorrow. You're like, how much you pay for that dress? I might show up to the next wedding in my wedding dress. I'm gonna try to get as much wear out of my dress as I can. I heard that. Well, you know, this is all great. We've gone from invitations to now injustice. Okay. Somebody who has been speaking out lately about the ongoing problems of social injustice in this country is NBA super player Carmelo yes. Anthony. Yes. Awesome. Now, Carmelo recently spoke out at a press conference this week about the social injustice, saying that it's actually getting worse, and it continues to get worse. Now, Carmelo, he's been real outspoken mm -hmm. in the past about the subject, and he hopes to keep the conversation going as the NBA season approaches. What I want to know from you ladies is, you know, do you agree with Carmelo's statement? The statement was, he says that social injustice has actually gotten worse. Or has the use of social media and people speaking out just highlighted what's been going on? Oh. Hmm. Very interesting, huh? I mean, uh, I talked about this I before like... where, I, I mean, we're all women of color. Right. And all of us have experienced some Something. sort of judgment based on what's going on with what the way we look. Mm -hmm. So I believe hardcore that racism has been happening since the beginning of time and hasn't changed, unfortunately, because we, like Carmelo Anthony, need to speak out. Right. Yeah. And here's the thing that frustrates me. It shouldn't be just people who are black. It shouldn't be people who are just Hispanic. Everybody of Get every together. color needs to yes. speak up because we are united. Yes. They, yes. We are united. feel a no. way about it. If tomorrow it started happening to the Asian community, guess what? I'd be standing Thank right you. there with yes. you guys. And I would exactly. for you. I don't care who it is. I really would. Yes. It's, it's, it, ma it makes me so upset. Rob tweets out Kylie's number. Everybody calls Kylie to find right. out that's real number. Why aren't we calling our officials and changing less? Yeah. I do that too. Why don't we call? But you know what? Easy as that. Like, with that said, Jeannie, there are so many ways now with social media that we can report injustices. The ACLU has a wonderful app. It's called Mobile Justice. And what it will do is, like, if you see an injustice, it'll work with your actual phone where you can record it, and it'll that's automatically so file. It doesn't mean the ACLU is going to take your case. But if you see something that's happening that you're questionable about, it will automatically download to the ACLU in your state. Yeah. So, you know, make sure that's that, great. you know, because, the, you know, some, pe some people get it wrong. Like, everybody yeah. don't need to be on social media reporting stuff, okay? Because <laughs> my uncle Ray Ray, he, he gets it all wrong. He gets the facts wrong, you know, and I'm like, just facts. post the article. Stop yeah, with yeah. Your, your, I think and I felt, no. So this is a good yeah. way to kind of like, great. the ACLU you yeah. app is if you see something, you may not be, you know, you may not know sure. if it's really a real injustice. Yeah. Do it that way and download. It's called Mobile Justice. And it's a great way to, you know, kind of, because this is what social media is about. This is, this is technology, you know. So power is in your hands. Albert Einstein said, the world is a dangerous place to live, not because of the people who are evil, but because of the people who don't do anything about it. Wow. Good.